In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create the CRT rewind effect in After Effects. You guys love CRT effects. I had to cook up something new here. CRT rewind sounds so cool and it's so cool. So yeah, I'm excited to show you guys how to create it. Let's get right into the tutorial here. So here we are in After Effects and I'm using a music video of uh, SD Kid here called Sentry. And uh, we're going to be starting off by creating the CRT rewind effect here. So we're going to be starting off by creating a adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y here to create a new adjustment layer. And how to create the CRT look is by adding the grid effect. Great, now we got the grid here. We're going to be changing the size from uh, from a corner point to width and height sliders. And here we can start off by setting the uh, width to 8 here and the height to 16. After that we can change the blending mode to hard light. Set the color to black. And now already with just those changes here, we got a CRT effect here, as you guys can see here. Not the best, but we can at least see we have pixels here. Uh, now for the CRT distortion effect here, we want to uh, also drag down the resolution. That's a big part of the uh, CRT look here. Uh, we can't have a, you know, 4K footage in the background. And then on top of that, layering a CRT effect, because then, you know, the background footage will won't look realistic at all. So how to drag on the resolution here is to add the effect called mosaic. And for this mosaic effect here we're going to be dragging it above the grid effect here and we're just going to be increasing the horizontal and vertical blocks here just to check out which value fits the uh, amount of pixels we're using for the CRT effect here. You can also check the sharp colors to get a more realistic look and here we will have to set it to maybe 130 here. Horizontal blocks 160 something like that i'm gonna increase the horizontal blocks a little bit I'm gonna, I'm gonna set it to twice as much so 260 so this is the before and after here this is a small touch to get that low quality look to our crt effect here now when we're making distortions we don't want the you know crt to look unrealistic in that sense so uh, when it comes to distortions you want to have a distortion for the footage and not the pixels basically so how to fix that we're going to be starting off by adding a small distortion here uh, with turbulent displays and as you guys can see when we have turbulent displays under grid here it's going to be affecting the pixels as well which looks absolutely absurd so we're going to be dragging it above the grid effect something like that adjust the size here i think 50 is nice adjust the size here i think uh, let's see 150 i think 150 is nice then you can drag down the amount a little bit i'm gonna have it at 20. after that you can hold alt and press the clock here on evolution after that you can keyframe the evolution here so press the clock here on evolution at the beginning let's go one frame forward and go one lap here on the evolution 360 degrees and then you can hold alt on the evolution click the clock and that is going to be opening up the express section here and here we're going to be uh, typing in a very very simple expression here which is loop out it's going to be looping for us now now we get this kind of distorted uh, look here and if you think the distortion is too fast here uh, depends on how your you know footage is how you want it to look because uh, this you know and if i'm going to be honest here there's no right or wrong here the distortions can happen fast or slow depending on how you you know create them in real life at least so uh for me just visually i would uh, actually slow this down a little bit and you can easily do that by just dragging the keyframe a little bit further in so let's I'm setting it at one and a half seconds now. And that creates a slow, nice preview here, which is nice. And when we play it, since it's looping, it's resetting. And now my footage is very like glitchy and stuff like that. Much is happening here. But for it to have a smooth distortion throughout the whole time, which it kind of already has, you can just uh, put the evolution back to zero. So if I have it at a half a second long, we can go to three seconds, which is twice as much. And here we can just manually drag it back down to zero so it's going to be going from zero to 360 degrees one lap then going back down to zero again then up again down again or and after that up again down again just like that uh, just to create a smooth transition uh, when we are looping the distortion here but this looks nice and uh, not only that you can make other distortions uh, so one other distortion i like to create is this kind of tape glitch distortion and how to create that is uh, actually by adding an effect called CC Smear. The best of use I've had this effect for was actually for my uh, dripping text tutorial. 
as you guys probably know. So here to create that glitchy tape here, we're going to be dragging the tape. I usually like to have it under here at the bottom, something like that. And you just set the points here uh, horizontally like this and you can copy the same amount here. So we can have 800 and 800 to 2 as well. So from and to is 800 and then you have the other position settings there as well. And when we play this, it's going to look something like this here as you can see. It's going to be having this distortion look here. And we can also customize the type here to round, bell and wizard. Sounds hella weird, not gonna lie, but uh, I think the bell one looks uh, pretty cool. Uh, and you can customize the radius here and the reach as well. So the reach, I like it uh, pretty high. And the bell, you can adjust it. Uh, but the thing is, so when you're satisfied with your look here, you're basically gonna be keyframing these uh, you know, values here. So we can keyframe the radius and the reach here at the beginning of our adjustment layer here. Open up CC smear here. Uh, we can go a little bit closer. And uh, depending on what look you guys want, you can either change the value every single uh, frame, literally for your projects, or every other frame here. It kind of depends on if you want to have like a literally a glitch, real glitch look here. Uh, you can do every frame, but to get a more distorted uh, look here, I like to see the actual distortion develop and move, have some motion to it. So for that, I'm going to be jumping two frames forward for this. And here we can just customize it to some other value here. Something like that, drag it down a little bit, basically. Go two frames forward, change the settings, drag it down, drag it up, whatever you guys want. Two frames forward, change it again, then two frames forward, Something like that. Then you can just check how it looks. And I think this looks good. So what I can do now is just holding Alt on Reach. And here type Loop Out. And same for Radius. Hold Alt, press the clock here. Type Loop Out. And as you can see now, now it's going to be moving like that. So you're going to be having a small distortion at the bottom here. Which is very, very nice. And now as you guys can see, my distortion is very, uh, you know, predictable or whatever. It's like the same kind of pattern all the time here. So a fun thing you can do when creating distortion glitches stuff like that it doesn't need to be you know i know i said like you know if you want to have motion have two frames in between but like it doesn't need to be like that like to create a more accurate look you can you know we can put these keyframes close to each other and these a little bit further in between something like that you just make the make them random that's kind of the point of you know glitches distortion that kind of stuff so if we play it right now we get the more uh glitchy uh kind of look to it which I like. And now after that, when you're satisfied with your distortion look here, we're going to be adding that uh, bend screen effect here. And for that, we're going to be adding CC lens. So now we've got CC lens. We're going to be increasing the size to 200. Drag down the convergence to minus 50 is nice. So something like this. Now we've got the whole bend to our uh, CRT effect here. And as you guys have probably noticed uh, throughout the whole tutorial here so far, is that it's a very dark footage here and uh, how to... Uh, lighten it up and to make the whole CRT look look much more realistic is by adding the glow effect here so we're going to be adding glow here and we want the core glow to be the strongest here so we're going to be setting the glow threshold to 20 percent and here we can set the glow radius to 0.2 here and here we can set the glow radius to 0.3 here and this also depends on your footage here you kind of have to adjust depending on uh, how bright or how dark your footage is i'm gonna start with 0.3 here on the glow threshold so this is the on the core glow here so this is the before and after the core is getting brighter after that Control d create a new glow Set the glow threshold to 40% and then increase the glow intensity here to 0.6. And the most important part is glow radius is going to be 300. And we will have to increase the glow radius, like the intensity and the brightness of the glow here to be able to see the actual glowing look, basically. So as you can see here, if you just zoom in a little bit here, we can see a clear difference here uh, on the glow radius here. After that, press Ctrl D again here. Ctrl D. Glow threshold set it to 60%. Glow radius 600. Glow intensity 0 0.9. Small tiny boost here again. And then just check your whole footage here. 
it looks good. And then decide if you're satisfied or not. You can obviously, you don't need to change ar around like just with the glow settings here. You can also add exposure to this here. Exposure. We can drag it above glow here. And here we can just increase the exposure. You can set it to one, for example. And so far, it's going to look something like this here. Super, super clean effect here. And next up, to get rid of these uh, weird you know background here we got like black edges here we're going to be adding a transform to this and this is just to scale up the whole so take a look here so we get rid of these edges here after that we're going to be adding motion tile and this is to create the uh, actual black bars on the side and here set the output width to 20 something like that so now we've got some nice black bars here on the side and so far when we play it, it's going to look something like this here. Super, super clean distortion look here. You can also add some noise or grain to the whole certain effect here to uh, get a more, you know, no signal kind of look here. So we can add, add grain to this. Change the preview to final output. Drag up the add grain above mosaic. Here increase the intensity a little bit. Test out so we get the look you want. Think intensity to 3 is nice. So it's going to look something like this. Super clean. And then after that, we can go to the exposure effect again. Here we can keyframe the exposure here. So keyframe the exposure at one in the beginning. Go to the next frame, drag it down. Next frame, drag it up. Next frame, drag it down. Next frame, drag it up. Next frame, drag it down. Open up exposure, master. Hold Alt on the exposure setting. Air type loop out. So now it's going to be flickering as well. And now when we play it, we get this super, super cool CRT distortion, CRT rewind look here. Looks super, super cool with the uh, tape error and this whole distortion look here. Absolutely incredible. Super, super clean. And if you want to create the best CRT rewind, CRT distortion looks, I made a CRT distortion preset pack, which is a part of my all-in-one bundle. So how to use it is basically creating an adjustment layer, animation presets, user presets, CRT distortion presets, and it's going to look something like this here. Absolutely incredible. So for the CRT distortion preset pack, we can be using the Wavebend CRT drag and drop. And it's going to look something like this here. Absolutely incredible. I mean, this is crazy cool look here to say the least i mean let's be honest this is crazy cool and now we can combine this preset here with my low res preset pack which is also a part of my all-in-one bundle so we can create a new adjustment layer here open up low res presets here we can use some cool effects here we can use the raw low res here drag and drop and when we combine this we will be getting this insanely cool look here and now when we play it it's going to look something like this here absolutely incredible i mean by far the best looking crt rewind crt distortion look here you can possibly create <laughs> crazy i'm speechless you know what i mean like this is top tier effect there i really like how the raw low res look adds this you know really grungy touch to the whole crt distortion crt rewind effect here and if you guys don't know the raw low res look here is one of the presets that has been used in famous rappers music videos like the BLP Kosher music video Young Padawan. Uh, just a quick example there. But what we can do here is basically combine with some other CRT distortion effect here. So we can create a new adjustment layer here, Control Alt Y. Drag it under the raw low res look here. Go up to CRT distortion presets. Here let's use analog damage CRT drag and drop. And when we play it, it's going to look something like this here. In incredible combination here absolutely incredible and for fun's sake we can combine it a little bit more here so now let's uh, use another low res preset here create a new adjustment layer go down to low res presets here let's use the low rec preset drag and drop and now when we play it it's going to look something like this here insanely cool combination here the combinations here look absolutely incredible and they're literally endless so to check out the low res presets pack and the crt distortion pack which is both included in my all-in-one bundle it's going to be linked down below so you guys can easily go and check it out other than that thank you guys for watching this incredible uh, tutorial on these uh, incredible crt rewind and crt distortion effects other than that i will see you guys in the next video Take care and have a nice day.